Hi traders, Dale Pinkert here at Forex Stop Hunter on Twitter. I thought I'd start off with the yen. Yesterday I said I'd like to sell rally up around 112.70 to 113. We had the BOJ that said they are likely to remain easy for the remaining futures, so we had a little bit of a squeeze. Only got to 1240. Now I pointed out this 1180 pivot uh, quite a few times, which we broke below decisively. Very possible that 1240 was it. Uh, I would look for rallies back towards 1180 to 1200 for potential short selling opportunities. Should we take out today's lows? I think there is potential for 110 and then 109 in the end. So looking to sell strength, I think this uh, portends uh, a continuation of strength in the dollar. Only a little bit of risk off flight to quality, and I think that's what the yen is pretending. And it could be what I'm looking at and what I'm going to show you right now. That's a NASDAQ 100 four hour chart. As you could tell, near the highs that we had earlier in the session, uh, we were not confirming. We've really been diverging for uh, quite a few hundred points, as well as quite a lot in time, at least since April 19th. So here we are near the end of April. Is it possible, since I haven't heard it much yet? that we're going to be in for a sell in May and go away event uh, with the market beginning to correct this massive recovery that we've had since Christmas Eve, New Year's. To me, it looks possible. Uh, I'd actually like to see uh, the market close under the two-week off number. A two-week reversal would come in at 76.30-ish. So, uh, you know, that's 130 or 76.52 right in there so that's 130 away uh, but in this environment it can happen and we had a pretty nice reversal day so I think there's vulnerability and we had some pretty bad news on Intel um, I'm going to wrap it up with something I've been focusing on starting to get the action that I talked about I said your first sign that crude would be topping would be taking out the 65 and a half level which is what it did today uh, the next level where the bulls will attempt to defend is right here at 64.60, which was a breakout. Closing back underneath this would be your second negative sign. And then we get to the outside of the rising wedge, this whole rollover period since we accelerated through the wedge line. Back under it looks like 64.5 would seal the deal for a top for me. Uh, my targets, I believe... Uh, between 61 and a half and 60 and a half for the first target even could extend to the 59 handle at 59.63. This market looks very vulnerable, vulnerable to me. And uh, here's your lesson. The market peaked within one day of the major news of not being able to sell oil, uh, or Iran being able to sell oil to multiple nations. Therefore, people who buy headlines today sell newspapers tomorrow. Remember, don't just count your pips, count your blessings, and I'll see you next week. Adios.